Good morning, YouTube. We have a new problem, so we have a new project. So, I was out driving the truck the other day, and because of the new tires, they're larger, when we turn, the edge of the tire here hits the uh, rubber mud flap here. And you can see it's kind of deformed. Uh, that's because the tire was catching it and pulling it up. So, we are going to take off the fenders here, which was actually something we were going to do anyway. Uh, it just wasn't this high on my list. So pull those off. Uh, we can take out the rivets here and remove the uh, rubber part. And then we also have to deal with some of the rust that's on these and repaint them. So that was planned anyway. So we're just kind of pushing it up a little bit because we can't drive it if it's dragging like this. One of the things I'm hoping, I'm hoping that these steps are actually what's pushing this forward and making it catch. So I'm hoping once these steps are gone, these will flare back a little bit more. If not, I guess we need to figure out what to do. Maybe shorten these up. That could do it. Uh, I know that the tire is nowhere near touching the actual metal part of the um, fender here. So that's what we're going to do today. Pull these off and start stripping, sanding, fixing, and painting. Okay, that part is done. Here's the driver's side. So some of the stuff we have, what well, we're trying to find, uh, there's a step that goes here, and then there's another step that goes right about here, and it attaches to these holes back here. In order to put those steps in, we have to remove these steps, and to do that we have to get rid of this battery box but the batteries I have are too big for this box so we can't just relocate it I have to find a new one that's bigger same thing on this side I have a new gas tank that's bigger and this one's mounted to these steps so I can't take the step off until I'm ready to mount the new gas tank can't mount the gas tank because I have not found any brackets for it yet I'm uh, going to do the same step thing here. There's one that mounts here, steps down, and then there's another one that mounts to the frame back there. These go on the back side of the fender. You can see they're mounted on this one, like so. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to drill out these rivets. These three have already been drilled out. 
found out that that's because I had to remove them so I could move this rubber out of the way to be able to remove the, the fender because the gas tank was in the way. And then uh, we have to address these rust issues and I'm hoping they can be salvaged. I don't see why not. They don't seem to be rusted all the way through. So we made a decision and we are going to take them to the sandblaster slash powder coater. So we spent hours and the top paint isn't so bad, but the stuff underneath here, whatever this is, this black stuff, which must be some kind of uh, anti-rust coating or kind of like the Pour 15 maybe. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Uh, if anybody knows, let me know. That would be great. But anyway, the, f the point is, is that it's very hard to get it off. It takes forever. Um, and I guess I'm just lazy. But the other issue is we have this rust here. So I would like to get in there and get all the nooks and crannies in everywhere. So I think sandblasting is going to be a better route. And the price they gave us was not bad at all. So uh, I'm going to take this down to the powder coaters or the, well, the powder coater and the sandblaster. They're going to sandblast it and then we'll see what kind of damage we have here with the rust. 
see if that needs to be addressed somehow with welding and uh, then get it powder coated black satin black just like the wheels so it should be exactly the same color as the wheels everything should match and then I'm also going to do all the hardware um, these are part of the uh, these hold the mud flaps on these are brackets to brace the actual fenders to the uh, to the frame of the truck or the cab of the truck actually more uh, mud flap brackets which I spent a lot of time taking the paint off already so these just need to be powder coated and these are the two brackets that go here which allow you to mount the fender to the truck so that's what we're gonna do take those down there should take a couple days and should have some new black beautiful powder coated fenders at the end Alright, the fenders have been sandblasted. Got a little damage here. I think what we're gonna do is grind this out, put some Bondo in there and call it a day. This will be hidden. This one, same thing. And here are all the parts brackets we got the fenders back from the powder coaters they are black satin black I think they look pretty good and as I said in the video at the powder coater um, most of the damage was here on this one and here on this one which is not a structural part of the the fender so what we decided to do was go with bondo and then just paint over it instead of going through the process of cutting it out and rewelding um, you know these things are 30 years old that was the extent of the rust wasn't that bad wasn't structural this is probably going to be hidden underneath the truck anyway so that is what I decided to do instead of uh, waste time and money taking it to a, an auto body shop and having them deal with that quote unquote properly you know whatever if down the road something it gets worse or you know it's not a show truck so I'm not too worried about it right here we have the the rubber uh, mud flaps which are not going to go back on the truck you can see from the shape here where the wheel was catching them which is the whole reason I did this right now so those are going to stay off for now until we can get rid of these steps which I do believe are pushing the rubber mud flaps more forward than they would normally be so those are going to stay off most of the hardware here this is for the mud flaps so that'll stay off today we're not going to deal with that these are the two brackets that hold it on as well as these got all my hardware we're uh, doing new stainless hardware for the whole thing this is the old stuff which I'll use for reference and these plates go here. I don't think that's the right one.
that goes right there like that. So we have all that. Let's get started. All right, so we have this one installed. Installed here. I'm not sure about this little, I thought this overlapped more, but I can't get it adjusted so that it will. It's a little concerning. Not sure what to do about that. But other than that, it fits pretty well. Got all this back in. Um, most definitely, you can tell here, the angle of this fender that mud flap would be coming down somewhere in here so I think uh, once these steps are gone the mud flaps will definitely fit without rubbing on the tires so for now we just run them like this but other than that I think it looks pretty good the black is definitely better than the uh, white looks nice and uh, continuous now a real deal pumpkin now huh we have finished putting on the right side fender the passenger fender it was pretty much exactly the same as the other one so nothing really to video uh, here we take a look as you can see kind of the same angle here this definitely was causing the mud flap to come forward which is why it was hitting the wheel so Again, once we get rid of these steps, we should be good. But for now, we got a nice new fender. As you can see on this one, this uh, rubber flap overlaps a lot better. I don't know why this one's good and the other one's not. So I'll keep fiddling around looking at it. But for now, I think we are solid. Looks a lot better, all black like this. I am also working on 
procuring some of the stock fenders or I guess rear fenders, mud flaps, whatever you want to call them. But those will go right here and those will be black. This will, have, this will come off and this step will come off as well. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. And anything to say, Hannah? No? All right, thanks for watching. See you later.